we got going on here is another bumper repair. This bumper took some damage, and we are actually going to repair this a little bit more detailed than the other video, so stay tuned. What you want to do is basically melt you a big groove once you get your bumper situated back in the position it's supposed to go. That way it melts deep, deep down in the plastic while semi just pushing back on itself just like the gun, well, just like the you see in the video. And just take your time, you know, because you can't build something nice in a day. Well, you can, but you know what I mean. Pretty well, what you want to do is just go ahead and take a zip tie after you pretty well just weld it like we did in the video, and then take a zip tie and melt, melt it until you crack, and just keep building it up slowly but surely. Don't let it get too hot. You go let it cool down after you fill some, some more. So you can build it up even. Now once you get it built, you can take some 180 or 220 or 320, whatever you prefer, on a DA or hand stand it. A DA is a lot smoother. The <laughs> repair after 180, as you can see, we are totally bonded back together. But it does need filled up a little bit more with a little bit of zip tie. Which we got plenty of zip tie left. And we are just going to take it and pretty well melt all the cracks up even. And then uh, once we get it all melted up even, we're going to take the 180 and hit it again with the DA. Then the body filler over top of it. This is after we filled the plastic on up with a zip tie and sanded it off. We went ahead and laid a body filler over top of the repair. And now we are sanding it smooth and level. As you can see, it's turning out great. This is with 180. We are sanding this repair with 180 at the moment. And then we will take it to 320 and then primer. So yeah, I think it's going to turn out great. So let's see what happens after we uh, put some primer on this. We're scuffing the old paint and then we're going to put some primer on it and block it down. Just the repair portions, but we are stuffing the clear coat so we be able to re-clear this bumper and paint it. Went ahead and after priming, we went ahead and sanded. Uh, repair spots on this whole bumper as you can see it's nice and smooth now we are going to scuff all the clear coat so the next step guys is to scuff your clear coat all your clear coat on the whole bumper and get it ready for painting after you scuff it you want to take a wax and grease remover to it and then take a tack cloth we will see you before we spray paint is you want to mask off all your outlines of your repair and trim out all edges that need to be trimmed with a hobby knife or a razor blade and make sure all your tape edges is nice and crisp and the spot you're going to be painting is good to go we are painting this bumper so we got the whole bumper mask off now we're going to drop a drop cloth over the whole jeep so we get no overspray on it you can use some alcohol and water and it will uh, take away the static in the bumper, give you a better paint job. That's a Wobbs paint shop tip of the day for you. I'm going to take you some clear file, wax and grease remover, and clean your whole bumper off good. And then you will want to let it dry for a few minutes and take a tack cloth over the whole thing. black acrylic sealer on it and pretty well we are wetting it dry as you can see it is drying even in the video as we speak 
and we just uh, seal the repel spots that we actually run through on because that is 2k climate which acts as a sealer too so we just sealed the places we run through on the 2k then we get ready for the paint the fender well is looking great too also on this sheet i think it's all going to turn out good Now you just want to uh, lightly coat your first coat like we did in the video just then. Give it a flash time, come back and hit it with at least three coats of paint. You can put two on it and then wet that flash and then do the third coat and then come back and let that flash and then quick coat. So we're gonna go ahead and lay the second coat and I come back uh, with this video. We get done with the third coat. Guys, here's a repair spot. It's looking great. This is after the third coat of base. We have everything blended in, and we are giving it the actual flash time as needed, and then we're going to lay a clear coat. This is after the first coat of clear. We're gonna put three coats of clear coat on this. So I'll show you the finished product once we get it done. Okay guys, here's after three coats of clear. It turned out great, got good reflection in it. We're gonna actually buff a few more places on it. Polish the bumper up, but it's pretty well done. As you can see, you can't even tell it was a crack ever in this bumper. I hope you enjoyed this repaired video. Check out Rob's Paint Shop in the description below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button to the channel. Appreciate it if you do. And until the next video, we'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye now.